All right, you finally had enough with Facebook and you want to move your community out of Facebook and into somewhere else, whether it's something like a circle.so community or a Discord or anywhere else. These 10 steps I'm about to share with you are exactly what we did to ensure that we maximized the number of people who converted to the new space, that we didn't lose a ton of people, and that we made everybody happy, ourselves included. And I want to make you happy too. So follow these 10 steps to help you move your Facebook community Right now, let's get started. Number one, you wanna give your Facebook community some time to know that this is happening in the future. I would give it you know, a couple months if possible or at least a few weeks, but if you tell people in one or two weeks that you know the Facebook group's gonna shut down and you're gonna move everything elsewhere, I mean, people aren't gonna have enough time to process that and you're gonna upset a whole bunch of people. Give people enough time to process and all these other steps that I'm about to share with you and you'll do much, much better. Number two, you gotta nail the benefits of why you're doing this in the first place, right? You got to understand and share what those benefits are. You almost have to sell this process of shifting everybody over because nobody likes change. Nobody wants to have to change and do extra things, but you have to sell why they need to do this little bit now so that things will be much better later. So you have to answer that yourself. What is the benefit of moving over to circle or wherever else what's going to change and why does that matter and why should people do all this stuff so that it is better on the other end you need to know that before after and share that number three speaking of those pain points i want you to address that up front you need to tell your community hey i know that this is a massive pain yes you're gonna have to create a new username and login but again you juxtapose, you just, you just whatever that word juxtaposition that you compare that you you contrast it with you contrast that with the before and how things are now and just what life is like on the other end. What is going to be the benefit of doing all that? Address those pains up front and at least you'll address it and not have to worry about people making up stories about all this stuff. You address it head on. That's always the best thing to do when things are tough. Number four, this is a big one. Rally your super fans. You likely have people in your community that are super active, that would follow you wherever. If you like set up camp in a desert with no internet, they would follow you there. Find those people, you probably know who they are, and reach out to them. Let them know early, but before anybody else, and give them that special sort of like, hey, you know, I wanted to reach out to you and tell you first kind of thing, because they love that, and that makes them even more of a super fan. They're gonna feel real special, but they're also gonna wanna help you too. You let them know about the change, you sell it, just like I talked about. And when you can get your super fans on board, Guess who they're going to get on board? Everybody else, right? Because they're the more active ones in the community. They probably have their own little micro followings within your community and thus will then bring more people over because they're going to be over there too. Which takes me to step number five. That is to bring those people first, those super fans of yours, into the new space. If it's on circle.so, for example, they're going to be okay with it not being fully fleshed out yet. They're going to be okay knowing that it's being built with them. In fact, if you can get them involved, they're going to be even more invested. You have them fill out some of the spaces and start adding conversations here and there, knowing that there's likely nothing there yet at the start, so that when they start bringing more people in, when you reach that time at which you're bringing more people in, the regular community members, there's going to be conversation already happening and it's no longer a ghost town. So bring your super fans over, let them poke and, and, and mess things around and mess things up, and then fix those bugs get those conversations going, and it's gonna be much, much better for everybody else who comes in later. Much better experience, and that's what we want. Number six, you have to set a hard date. Set a hard date. Not a hard date because this is a hard thing to, to overcome for some people, but a hard date meaning on September 8th this year, we will be moving everything over and this Facebook group will be shut down. Again, give people adequate amount of time to consider that. You wanna sell this thing, so it's like, okay, cool, we'll do it by then. But if you don't give a date, people will not move. And, I'll, and trust me, people will mostly transfer over right before that cutoff. So set a hard date in your calendar with adequate time for people to understand what's going on and why, and then actually stay true to that word. You get to that date and you say you're gonna get rid of this Facebook group, and uh, then you have your new life and your new community. Now, that being said, number seven, you wanna have an overlap period, a period at which you are migrating people over to the new community on, again, Circle or wherever. I keep saying Circle because I'm an affiliate, I'm an advisor for the company. That's where we house SPI Pro, our community of amazing entrepreneurs, our safe space for people to come and chat and connect, and, and we challenge each other's masterminds and accountability, all this great stuff. We talk a lot about SPI Pro here and how we do what we do, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. My affiliate link for Circle will be 
right here on the screen, smartpassiveincome.com slash circle, or you can go to the link in the description. That was my little plug. Anyway, what I was saying, there's a little bit of an overlap period. You want to offer maybe at least two weeks to one month of overlap when both communities are open. And that's, again, so that you can have some time for people. There's going to be some people who rush into the new community, and there's going to be those stragglers who will wait till that hard date to finally make it happen before the Facebook group closes. If you just say, hey, guys, tomorrow we're switching things over, and the next day Facebook group's gone, I mean, some people might be on vacation or they might miss out on that notice and that is not good either. So give some time, two weeks to a month of overlap before then the Facebook group is shut down and new life happens in the new community. Number nine, please, please make the transition instructions clear. Show pictures, share a video. You're gonna need to share these many times. People are gonna be very confused even if you share everything. So you're gonna send them those things again and again until they finally get it for those who want it and Yes, it's going to be a painful thing, but you have to rip the Band-Aid before you can. There's a rhyme there, but I'm, I don't know where it is right now. You have to rip the Band-Aid before you plan for a parade in the new community. There it is. As simple as possible that like a third grader could go in, in, in or, or a five-year-old could go in and read those steps. Go here. Set up your new login here. Do this here. I'm not going to tell you what those things are. You should know what those things are based on the platform that you are using. And again, if it's Circle, it's very easy to do. Anyway, we migrated over, I don't even know, thousands of people from various Facebook groups that house our course students over to what we now call the SPI Academy inside of circle and it's just been a blessing people have had a much better time there and uh, i highly recommend that you go through all this painful stuff band-aid parade yeah number 10 onboard like your life depends on it onboarding is one of the most important processes when it comes to building communities that is when a people or when a person comes over from the old community into the new community you wanna make sure that they have a really good, clear experience, right? You've shared with them the instructions to migrate over, but what happens then? Inside of Circle or your community, you wanna have steps. Go here, do this next. Introduce yourself here. Go read the terms of services here. Do all whatever it is you want them to do so that they already have some things going on in the new community. You always wanna answer that question, well, what do I do next? After every single step, and thus they're now active in the new community, they're getting familiar with the platform, and it's much much better as far as the experience. So nail that onboarding process. We're gonna have a lot more videos coming in the future. We're gonna have Jillian, our community director, come in and share with you how we onboard and get very detailed with you. So make sure you subscribe and stick around for that. But a couple final things to share with you. Number one, you will lose some people in the process. I'm just gonna tell you up front, whether it's a paid community or a free community, you're going to lose people. This 10-step process is gonna help minimize the number of loss, but your community is gonna be so awesome that people who don't even come over in time, they're gonna come knocking on the door and say, hey, there's a party going on here, I wanna come in. They'll come back in if, if there's a good reason to come back in, which there should be. The next thing is that your community, by doing this, is going to be much, much stronger. So. Yes, you're gonna to have to plan for it. It's gonna take some time. It's gonna be painful, not just for you, but for your community as well who's shifting over, but it is absolutely worth it. You got it. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the other community-based content that we have for you, and I look forward to serving you or my team is gonna serve you in the next upcoming videos. Thanks.